Good morning, Maya Pabak. Uh, good morning. Uh, it's build day number 82 here at Casa Tech. Uh, these morning, this morning, these guys are starting back up on the concrete right away. Uh, they didn't get all the uh, concrete poured for the roof beams that they were working on yesterday afternoon. So they're catching up with that this morning. They'll finish pouring all these up here that are already formed <coughs> and then uh, continue on around the rest of the way around the house. Um, we're expecting the welders to be back in today. They're going to continue working the, what do you call it, a, a lateral beam across the top um, so they can start with the actual roof ridge and start working their way down from there. Um, looks like it should be a good day. We're going to be completing some more plaster coating and um, other stuff around the house. So as they uh, get in and start working their way around, I'll uh, start taking some more video and show you what everybody's working on. So let's get started. All right, so as you saw me walking by this morning, first thing these guys are working on is mixing concrete. So they're doing buckets of sand followed by buckets of aggregate, three quarter inch minus, and then bags of cement into the mixer. Uh, Mr. Pablo over there is doing his favorite job. He likes doing the, this, this is Mr. Pablo. He likes doing his, uh, he likes doing the mixing. That's his favorite job. And then uh, <clears throat> all the rest of these guys just fill in where needed. All right, let's go look on the other side of the house because they've already started plaster coating on that side. Of it. So over on this side, they're getting all the uh, preparations made for the plaster coating, uh, making sure that they've got the thickness set with the um, ply board here on the side, and then also with the string line that Mr. Jojo is setting up over here. And they'll do this whole rest of this piece this afternoon, this morning. Um, should possibly, I'm guessing, start working the rest of the way down the side of the building. Um, like I said, while the, uh, while the welders are working up top, everybody else's main focus is to get all the first floor ready to go. All right, for my uh, concrete guys, they are actually rotting and tamping the concrete as it goes in. I know it doesn't show really well on the, uh, the time-lapse videos, but they are actually spending a couple minutes and uh, rotting it, especially on the columns to make sure that it gets all the way down and that the uh, mix is not segregated. Um, it does have a lot of rebar to go through. So there he goes with the hammer and the rod, both the same. Um, that's what I was asking for a couple days ago and th they are back doing it again like they're supposed to. So that's you know, good on them. They're <laughs> doing, doing the proper method. Good on them, they're doing the proper method. So back up here on the uh, attic floor, you got the welders. They have turned that um, beam that they were working on yesterday uh, vertical, so it will go like a true ridge beam, um, and they will extend it and keep extending it until they get it over to almost where I'm at uh, in the uh, half bath for the attic, and then it'll go. Uh, they'll start doing the angles down from there. They want to get the uh, the top center beam in first. Uh, make sure they've got it in the right spot. All right, had a question from uh, Gary. Um, what's the unfinished beam next to the cantilever beams, which I'm standing on top of? Um, what's the story with this? How come it's not finished? Well, the idea is what they're going to finish these um, roof beams that you see over here, the top bond beams. Um, as you were mentioning, they're probably most likely for seismic activity. Um, once they get those all integrated and start uh, forming it, they'll pour all of this together at the same time. Um, this will actually be hidden underneath the, uh, the ceiling and the roof. So it'll be above the ceiling, below the roof, because there's going to be a roof line that comes down this way way out here so this is going to be hidden underneath but what it is is it's an extension of the beam 
uh, the, that goes across from this point above the back patio door above the breakfast nook um, down along the kitchen and uh, breakfast bar that are underneath so that's where those are that's where it ties in at um, that's the explanation uh, they just haven't gotten to that point yet They'll, they'll get to that point soon. Uh, like I said, they are working their way around the building, uh, pulling in the uh, roof beams and columns that are remaining as they go. Thanks for the great question there, Gary. All right, coming into the master suite. The guys are starting to work, the metal guys are starting to work the uh, roof beams some more and the long purlin stretches. And inside the bathroom, Mr. Anjo is fitting in the door frame for the master closet. All right. Okay, coming back out into the main house in the living room area. Mr. Tuck is roughing in where the two floor outlets are gonna go inside the living room. So we're gonna have one here, one on the end for my purposes. He's coming off of the outlet. This one came from across the room, came all the way over here, and then he's coming back and he's gonna hit the two that are gonna be for the floor outlets here underneath. So it should go from this wall up, down again, directly across to that one. All right, I'm gonna get a lot of uh, walk arounds this morning because we won't be here this afternoon. Um, Miss Emmy and I have some uh, personal appointments, finally getting a chance to get out and get personal appointments taken care of. Uh, so today we're going to do that this afternoon um, in the interim on the front half of the house this is on the south wall of the master's closet they are starting to they're finishing up with the bottom half they did the top half yesterday afternoon with the plaster coating they're doing the bottom half this afternoon and then we'll go walk around on the inside and see what else they're doing so a little continuation of the um, front porch they did finish putting in the hollow block yesterday afternoon. We got it up to the height of the floor, uh, floor grade beam here. So then it, it should have one step down and then out onto the actual patio, uh, the actual front porch. They're starting to push in fill material, start getting it up to grade. Let's go look back here in the master's bedroom Ma going into the master bath mr anjo is putting the uh door frame into place for the master's closet looking good all right back out here these guys are still, the, the, the welders are still working the, uh, the roof. So we're starting to see what they're going to do with these. Looks like they just put some purlins up for support. Uh, initially what they're working on now is they're moving these um, the web trusses over the top. So they'll weld it in place here. And then once it's ready to go up, they'll turn it up on its side and put it up to the connection. Uh, should be up here in the center right here outside of the uh, Baha'i Kubo on the northwest corner of the house. This is the maid's room and they're starting to do the forms for the roof beam and uh, columns that are remaining here to be poured. Back up on the uh, attic floor, what we're working on now is they've got the trusses, the web truss up here. This is two inch angle iron and they're connecting the long two spans together so that they'll be able to make it connect from the corner of the master suite up to its connection point. This is what they're looking at.
All right, they've got the uh, web truss put together for the the first piece. They're gonna look like they're trying to get it up in the location. Two of the web trusses that they were building over on the side of the the ones that they were building over here um, that they have connected together. Um, the connection currently is right here. And that's what I was showing you earlier on the previous clip, uh, joining those two pieces together. Do another uh, we're gonna do a post lunch walk around they are continuing to work on the forms around the um, the maid suite they'll probably work those the rest of the afternoon all right coming into the new steps for the front a 
we'll spread that out and compact it later. All right, coming back into the construction zone, watch your head. This is just temporary support to maintain it. Hey, and they're still working on uh, putting in the door frame. Now the next place they're gonna do with the uh, the web truss is to come from that same point, from that same point on top, and they're gonna come through and come out here, right in this corner above the uh, shower. Okay, all right. Now we've got two work sites going on in the same location. Luckily, the plaster coaters underneath are almost are almost done because um, the next thing with all these purlins is they're going to try and make they're going to give themselves a working platform that's what the purlins are for uh, and then they're going to start working that next uh, straight shot like I said from underneath they're going to go from this corner up to the top of the ridge and then they'll just secure it with one of the purlins underneath for temporary uh, temporary support until everything else is put into place all right, we're gonna close a little early today on the video. Um, the guys are still staying on site to, for the full day. Um, Miss Emmy and I have uh, appointments this afternoon. Uh, so we're gonna go take care of those. And uh, we will see you guys back here on Monday. Um, today, we did get quite a bit done. Um, we actually had the first, uh, window, uh, first roof truss uh, go on today. So that's the one from the top down to the back corner of the master suite we got that taken care of today uh, they are in the process right now of doing the second one down uh, from the same point down to the corner of the um, master's bath so they'll take a look at that and we'll come back the engineer is supposed to be by a little later this afternoon he'll take a look at it and verify that everything's in the right location um, other than that, uh, the rest of the day was uh, they're continuing with uh, plaster coat around the side, filling in material here in the front in the front porch, and um, erecting new forms for the um, roof beam and uh, columns over by the maids room area, maids suite area. Um, so that's pretty much the wrap for this week. That's the end of day build day number 82. Uh, we will see you guys back on Monday on build day 83 and hopefully do a lot more trusses. Um, so until then, if you like today's video, please give us a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of these videos, hit the Costa Tex Penis Star right over here and you'll be uh, subscribed and notified when the next up upload is available for your viewing pleasure. Also hit the little bell icon down below. It'll do the same thing. It'll notify you when your, the next video is uploaded. Um, leave a comment below give us some feedback let us know how we're doing and share with your friends let them know what they're missing let them know what you've been watching this is good stuff here right all right um, so until the next time we see you have a great weekend and God bless thank you for watching if you liked today's video please hit like subscribe and hit the little bell icon to be notified when our next video becomes available